Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. This week, we're going to make something of our own design and creation, a magnetic activity board for kids. It's a beautiful piece of furniture that is educational and fun. So get your markers ready and your magnets and join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are wood, we chose to use pine, two magnetic whiteboards, pin nails, pocket screws, brass wood screws, and wood plugs, construction adhesive, some wood glue, sandpaper, shellac and cherry stain, paintbrushes, and some rags. We began by drawing up a design and creating a plan. This is a picture of the prototype that we created for our grandson. He loves it. This is a detailed supply list of the wood that we used, and the prices are based upon when we made the project. We begin by purchasing two whiteboards. We got ours on Amazon, and we use construction adhesive to glue the two together and let them sit overnight. The boards are now glued together and dry as we unclamp them and get ready to make the base piece. Two boards are cut at the same time. They need to be the same width and thickness of the white boards. Checking to make sure they're exact The shims are used to make sure the wood is the exact same thickness as the magnetic boards. Pin nails are used to hold the shim in place. Excess is cut away. It's time to frame the whiteboard. The frame consists of four pieces. The pieces are rough cut and we will fine tune the fit as we go. Time for some assembly with wood glue and pin nails. Now it's time to cut the face frame pieces. We need to cut two sets, one for each side. Time for assembly of the first face frame. Now cut the cross brace to size, meaning you use the frame in front of you to get the exact fit. Pocket screws are used to connect the cross braces. The frame is flipped over to install the cross braces. You don't want 
the packet screws to be showing. That looks good. Now it's time to glue and nail the face frame to the main frame. Again, we'll use wood glue and pin nails. Flip the project over and repeat. Build a second face frame for side two. The project is solid now, so remove the whiteboard to continue and it's time to do some sanding. Time to build the base. We continue to use the frame to get the dimension and fit that we seek. The base is cut to size. Time to sand the base. Get it as smooth as you can because everything else will be based upon this base. Time to cut out and attach the two side pieces. We're determining where these side pieces fit on the base. You want the edges to be even on both sides. Drill pilot holes for the side pieces. Time to countersink the holes so that the screws will fit flush. Continue on the other side, making sure you follow the same routine. Drill the pilot holes, countersink for the screws, and attach. The frame is laid down over the base so that we can get an exact fit with the other side piece. and it is attached. Now it's time to temporarily attach the frame to the base. Make sure that the frame is 90 degrees to the base. Time to build the two shelves. We're using the frame to get our exact measurements for the shelf. We'll need two. More pocket screws. We're attaching the shelves to the base with wood glue and the screws go into the pockets, making sure they're at a 45 degree angle. some wood plugs. Wipe away any excess glue. Time to cut out the four shelf dividers.
we're removing the frame so that we can sand the base. When the sanding is done, reassemble the base and the frame. and add the four dividers. The dividers are measured and evenly spaced. Install them with wood glue and pin nails. Time to install the finished trim around the whiteboard frame. Using pin nails, the trim is attached. Time to fill up the nail holes using some wood filler. Time for some finished sanding. Everything gets sanded. We want this as smooth as butter. Choose a stain of your choice. We chose cherry. Three coats of shellac will be applied. The whiteboard is still out for the first two coats. A light sanding is done between each coat. Then dust off the sanding Second coat going on. And when that's dry, you can reinstall the whiteboard, which means pulling out the frame, sliding the whiteboard in to the frame, and the frame comes back. Shellacking number three, final coat. To help with maneuverability when picking up the magnetic whiteboard, we add handles, and it looks great. Pilot holes are made, and then the brass screws are installed. Pilot holes are made, and then countersunk. It's time to install the brass screws that will hold the base to the frame. Next, we apply felt pads to the base. This protects the project and makes it easily slid along the floor. And there's your final project.
And there you have it. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful piece of furniture. The prototype we made for our grandson actually sits in our living room and it gets used a lot. This one here we made for the show, it's going to our niece Kate. Her two little boys are gonna get a lot of use out of it. So not only is this magnetic activity board for magnets, it is for dry erase and it is fun. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, make this. They'll treasure it, and you'll love it too. See you again. <laughs>